hottest ticket in many cities right now isn't to a sports game or a concert, but a ticket into Catholic schools, even for non-Catholics. Here to explain, Bill Maher. You know, in 1970, only 2.7% of the kids who went to Catholic school were not Catholic. Now it's 22% because their school is in a safe space for f-ing off. They're told, no, you can't be on your phone here, and your pronouns are shut up and sit down. And it's working. Fourth and eighth grade testing in reading, math, and science for kids in Catholic school is far higher than public school students in every case. Joseph Vitteridi, Thomas Hunter Professor of Public Policy with Hunter College is with us now. Professor, thank you. Is this correlation or causation? It's, it's a bit of each, I guess. Um, if you look at the research on this going back to the 1980s, um, James Coleman of the University of Chicago tried to explain this. And what he came up with was that uh, Catholic schools had a strong sense of community about them, and that uh, there was a sense of trust among the people who worked in them, among the people who attended them, and that sense of community was something that allowed them to pursue common interests. Uh, there is also a very strong focus on basic skills, reading, writing, science, um, and it shows in the scores, the ones that uh, Bill showed before uh, make sense. If you were to treat Catholic schools as a separate state and the 1.6 million kids who go there, it would be the highest performing state in the nation. Um, Fascinating. So that- what, 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 do we, what do we make of this in the school voucher debate? And I ask that because we have seen so many elections lately turn on the issue of school choice, on parents' rights, all of of these issues that play to Catholic schools, but then you inherently have the issue of fairness that so many kids would love to go to Catholic school, their parents would love to send them, but they can't afford it. I think there's a split within the the school choice camp. I've been with this issue for years. I gave to expert testimony in the Supreme Court case that allowed it to go forward. The split is this. Uh, Many of us who came to this uh, some time ago uh, sought vouchers and other forms of school choice as a way to provide access for kids who were stuck in underperforming schools to uh, attend alternatives. Um, And the, the point of this, the choice program, was to uh, pay the way for families who, on their own, would not be able to go. Um, The choice movement is making a turn now. And just in the last year and a half, uh, there's more of a focus on universal choice uh, in states. So everybody gets a, what we call an education savings account. Um, That's not going to, that's going to run out real soon because it's turning out to be expensive. And um, conservatives who support that are not going to be able to hold on to it for too long, I believe. Interesting. Um, that's Fascinating. Why I like the idea. Fascinating. Fascinating. Professor, I, I hate to, I, Professor, I hate to cut you off, but we got to get to breaking news. I apologize, but thank you. Um, you make a great point. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven unbiased coverage.